Hi there, my name is Satra Shea, and I'm an undergraduate researcher at Washington University, studying physics and electrical engineering. As scientists, we believe that quantum mechanics ought to describe everything about the physical universe. And yet, despite how fundamental it seems, we still have very little intuition about how exactly quantum mechanics works and what it all means. And part of this problem is that it's very difficult to see quantum effects except at really, really tiny length scales, really tiny systems like single atoms or single electrons. And you can imagine how tricky it can be trying to isolate a single atom from its environment, trying to manipulate it in some sort of interesting experiment. So as a result, a lot of quantum theory has yet to be realized experimentally. Now luckily for us, scientists have recently realized that certain kinds of electronic circuits will actually behave quantum mechanically. They're called superconducting quantum circuits, and they're very similar to the kinds of circuits that you'll find inside your computer, uh, with one main exception. These new circuits are made from materials called superconductors. And these are materials that will behave quantum mechanically at very, very low temperatures. So in some sense, you're trading one extreme for another. Instead of looking at really, really tiny systems, like single atoms, you can look at these very, very cold circuits. And these circuits are quite big. You can see them with your naked eye. The other interesting thing is that these circuits can be fabricated and designed using the same kind of techniques that are used to make the circuits in your computer. And so some people are calling these designer quantum systems, because they're really a quantum physicist's dream. They're controllable. They live on a computer chip, so you can take them wherever you want. And you can design them to be perfect for whatever interesting application that you want. One avenue that we're looking into is what's called quantum metrology, uh, where you use quantum mechanics to make new kinds of measurement tools, uh, unlike anything before. Specifically, we're looking into microwave frequency radiation, the same kind of radiation you'll find inside your microwave oven. And it turns out that you can make one of these circuits to be a detector of this kind of radiation. Our calculations suggest that this kind of detector could be up to 100,000 times more sensitive than what's currently available. So that's just one application in hundreds, and perhaps the most interesting applications we haven't even thought of yet. But we hope by continuing to study this new kind of technology, we can improve our fundamental understanding of quantum mechanics and all the while develop new kinds of technologies for the future.